firefighters save lives, and they're critical to the safety of every community. IAFF members are ready to respond to families in your community on the worst day of their lives. They are an integral part of the neighborhoods they serve. As partners, firefighters and mayors deliver the public safety services that enhance our community's quality of life. Above all, firefighters are partners in innovation and problem solving. Our local firefighters are absolutely incredible. We call them firefighters, but you know, the, the job has really evolved through the years. They're critical in our community. They are the first responders. They're literally, most of the times, the first one on the scene. When I need help with something, I know I can go to them. They're so valuable. I, I am grateful every day that we have such a remarkable department. The firefighter role is always evolving. Today, they are called on to respond to active shooter events, natural disasters, and are the first line of defense dealing with the opioid epidemic. Your firefighters are all hazards responders. Within the span of 24 hours, we had 52,000 families without power. We would not have gotten through that storm so well if it was not for the fire department. We've unfortunately had a lot of major disasters in our city, and our firefighters have often been um, not just the first responders, but, you know, re consistent responders through the recovery. Firefighters are the best partners a mayor could have, working collaboratively and innovatively to solve problems, gain federal grants for staff and equipment, and improve public safety in every possible way. At the center of that relationship is the collective bargaining process. And, and the way that we have been able to use collective bargaining to make sure that firefighters are getting the proper safety equipment and health and welfare benefits, the protections that they need for their families. The IAFF provides our members with the latest data-driven tools to help public officials innovate and find solutions that advance public safety, such as working with NIST to put science behind the critical importance of crew size and resource deployment. And in cooperation with IPSDI, we've developed the N4s and Fire Cares programs, which allow you to showcase the value of a high public safety grade. Our fire department is very data-driven. They're extremely innovative. They took the lead on creating their own departmental strategic plan. They have very clear goals. They're always looking at metrics. Not only did we improve our response times, we exceeded expectations. And so now it's, it's really been amazing to see the transformation because of the right investments. Our fire department and, and, uh, and, our, and our fire union have, have supported and worked with the city in recent years on major initiatives that might not even have to do with fire response. And firefighters are pillars of our communities in more ways than one. Simply put, firefighters are the most valuable asset any mayor can have. Our department is, is one of the best in the country and I'm just really proud of the work that they continue to do to not only save lives but give back to the community that they serve. We want our firefighters to be the best trained, the best equipped in, in the nation. Just to welcome every single mayor to the Fire Ops program. I think it's something that shows you up close and personal. You feel the heat, you smell the smoke. You know what it's like for a firefighter to go into a burning structure. And I think every mayor should know that. It's obviously really yeah. important to know what, what they're thinking and seeing and feeling and adjusting to the equipment and the breathing, but it was great. It's a game changer. I want those firefighters there. I want them to have good equipment. Uh, that is reliable. Uh, I want to make sure that they have every tool possible to be safe. Our fire department, Culver City Fire Department, is really data driven and they're really good at analyzing the numbers in order to anticipate the need. The right number of staffing, the, the right equipment in place, uh, more trucks, more stations, whatever it is that we need so that we can make sure that our people are safe. As we grow, and we add stations and we add firefighting personnel, we have to make sure that we are able to attract good talent and equally important, retain our, our quality firefighters now. Public safety is 60% of the El Paso budget. It's our number one priority. 
We're doing all we can do to make sure that they are fully equipped, fully staffed, and uh, taking care of everything they need. I've always viewed the relationship between the elected officials, specifically the mayor and our fire department, and our fire union is one of collaboration and transparency. And I think if we both have the same information about budgets and revenue methods, that most reasonable people come to similar conclusions. And you better have really good relationships. That's where I start with caring about my employees, their working conditions, their salaries, their pensions. We know that there are hundreds, if not thousands of people in my city alone who today are alive because firefighting and the firefighting profession has kept up with advances, always getting better, always finding ways to save lives. They're not gonna make a million dollars, but they do more than a million dollars worth of work. I think if you're an effective merit, you need to be right there as a partner, you know, side by side, making sure they get the support they need, including when we go into collective bargaining. No, as a merit, you gotta be a partner with your firefighters or you should resign and go find another job. The International Association of Firefighters and America's Mayors, partners in innovation and problem solving.